Hello people, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Builders 1 City Season 2. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And uh, how about this? Uh, we have Imperator's Builds in the map now, and my word. <laughs> there really is no word to describe the genius of this man. Look at this airport, man. Like, seriously. <laughs> Absolutely different level. He's come in with some wonderful little elevated highways that come up to a second like level of the airport. Which is used the art gallery from the campus DLC to put on top of the of the uh, the actual metropolitan airport asset. Different gravy, <laughs> really is so well put together. What he's done with the metro station here too, kind of getting it to align around all this parking and the the expo center. Very very nice. He's also using a mod um, for part life uh, paths that functions roads as well, which is. Uh, really good, uh, really quite handy. Let's see a few folks driving down here. This is cool. This is really good. <laughs> this is really great. So yeah, if you haven't seen um, Imperator's uh, airport build and accompanying interchange, uh, they are of course down in the playlist and on his channel. So do go and check them out. But anyway, that is enough falling over Imperator's wonderful builds. Uh, today we're going to head back over uh, toward our little lakeside retreat that we started last episode. And that you guys really enjoyed this. Thank you for all the suggestions and feedback and comments on this. Um, suggested maybe uh, smoothing out the beach a little bit more. Which I have done, just kind of sloped it down. Uh, just so we kind of get rid of these little black marks where the assets sit. It just needs to be a little smoother so we can do some more of that today as well. I've also banned all the vehicles from the boardwalk. <laughs> this is absolutely hilarious. I totally forgot to do that. It just, I, yeah, not even registered in my mind to do it. So we now have no cars driving uh, along the boardwalk, <laughs> which, which is how it's supposed to function, right? Uh, yeah, and um, there's a few amendments I want to make to this village today. I want to uh, sink uh, the road underneath the rail bridge, uh, which should be uh, fairly easily done. And then also bring a train station out here as well, and uh, some ferry transport as well, because way back when, uh, when I started uh, my first ever build here, we did actually include a uh, ferry depot. And uh, there's ferries moving around now, so it's definitely something uh, that we want to bring over to the lakeside town as well. Uh, and then also today, uh, I want to try and use the nature reserve assets uh, a little more creatively. So typically with the nature reserve, uh, you know, if we head over to the uh, the Tamaisters, we have a perfect example as the city burns in front of us. Uh, this one right here, you know, this is a, what you would consider a typical nature reserve. Uh, lots of pathways moving through forested hills and campfires and rocks and maybe... A little bit of kind of country road vibes down here, right? This is what you would consider to be a typical nature reserve. So I want to use these assets, maybe like hunting cabins one and two, uh, on this little cliffside here to create what would be like a dedicated camping area. For those that live in the UK, kind of think a little bit centre parksy, kind of a, a dedicated cabin development up on the cliffs and maybe with a viewing point up here as well to kind of expand the uh, touristy vibe that is developing around this part of the map. So, let's get started, shall we? So last episode, uh, this junction was getting a little bit backed up, and during certain times of day, um, it does get a little bit finicky. Uh, so I think what we'll do is, um, we'll turn this into a bridge, and I guess we can just speed this up, right? We'll just uh, use our mods to get this to look how we want. I also have just realised that in my traffic ban I banned all emergency services vehicles so everyone was fighting and then dying as a result on the waterfront. <laughs> so hopefully things are a little more stable now and then just use our, our favourite mods to bring this bridge over and duplicate the pillar so I think we're okay now. I need to refine a little bit of that fence detail in but otherwise I think we'll be okay. Okay, uh, so ferry transport first of all. I think we'll develop a little bit of a... Uh, area here we're going to need to terraform the bay out a little bit otherwise it involves terraforming out another whole huge peninsula and that's not what we want to do i have uh lifted the restrictions here right i think i have i think we want to do a uh, garbage collection as well don't we Wonderful. Now our emergency services are coming down here as initially 
initially planned. Okay, so let's grab ourselves a uh, ferry stop first of all. I think we're just going to go over this one right here. Let's clear out a touch of this boardwalk and then we can reconfigure how everything is going to flow around this area, okay? Let's place it here for right now. And then let's come into our terraforming tools. And we're going to grab our level terrain. And then we'll pick out a low point of the bay. Probably here will be good. And then we're just going to scoop out a little channel for our ferries, just so they're not quite as on shallow water, right? Let's open up this bay a little bit. Keep it looking as natural as possible as well, of course. We'll have to uh, probably delete this tree as well. Okay, fantastic. Let's go ahead and get our ferry line tucked in. bit of bridge clipping with the rail. Always do the elevating this whole thing by a couple of meters so we can move it. But otherwise we'll look forward to some uh, fairies joining us uh, down in the town. So I think now with our riding stable in next to the ferry depot this land has become very unstable I suppose is the word. I think we're going to remove a bunch of the assets around here and then just turn it into kind of sandy beach if we uh, just soften out a few of these slopes. Okay, so that's going to be nicer for our waterfront now. It takes a little bit of that very immediate cliff face off the uh, the riding stable here, okay? And then we can just decorate this out with a little bit of overgrowth. A few bits around here. Have some smaller rocks as well. Okay, and maybe a couple of our 5B uh, 1C palette as well. Right. And then we notice that this is kind of open uh, boardwalk around the corner where you then emerge into the uh, tourist stuff if you'd like, alright? Cool. It's going to throw down a little part life restroom outside the ferry stop as well. I'll right, we'll see some folks taking uh, the first ferry uh, back and two into the downtown. So that's going to be a nice little public transport connection for them. And of course we'll uh, alleviate the pressure on this little bit of road uh, coming into the town. Okay, so let's develop a little bit of uh, town on this side of the railway. Uh, we're going to want to come in with a... I think we're going to use a content creator station. Let's place it in suit, I think, first of all. We probably will have to terraform uh, around this in order to make it look somewhat sensible, but move it might help a little bit too. Okay, so let's see if we can bring it... It's because the road's not quite straight here. It's a little more awkward to accommodate, but we shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. And then we can just use, move it and adjust those roads. Again, checking the approach on the town. Like a couple of these little trees are just encroaching, maybe a touch too much, but just a local town station on the main road as you come in. And of course, uh, this could be expanded uh, to run under the road and then up into the mountain if you want to bring trains uh, up and out here. Now uh, there is a fair old distance to go to the map ends, so maybe one of the other. Uh, builders can pick it up there. Let's go ahead and get this hooked in uh, to the, the main line. a shuttle line all the way back to uh, Concord Station, uh, which is porting in here now, and uh, dropping some people off. So uh, two new uh, heavy, well, well, ferry isn't really heavy, but uh, two new public transport methods uh, back into to our little, little rural retreat here. We'll definitely detail this, of course, during our detail and time lapse, and uh, see what we can do uh, to uh, make this a little nicer. Okay, so now we have uh, a new road connection here. Why don't we have a little look at maybe starting our new uh, national park kind of design from here, right? So we'll come on to our curved road tool and we will temporarily lose 
at our cute little raw power lines. Let's bring these back over so that we don't lose total connection. There we go. Let's go into our forest brush and let's uh, just clear out a little bit of a pathway where we want to flow. So I think we'll bring it on this side of the rail and then mountain starts basically here, doesn't it? So we'll kind of bring it into here. Let's bring this road down. So I think as the road progresses, we'll maybe downgrade into dirt, maybe a section before. Yeah, okay. Just so you kind of start in the mountain track right there. The tarmac stops and whatnot. Okay, so we'll develop something here. Um, let's come ahead and grab that park area as well, because of course we did paint one out last time. So we might as well just use uh, this same one here. Alright, let's go into a little, a little bigger brush size. And then it's kind of encompass this whole mountain top and side. And that should do us nicely. Okay. So we'll start this area out with the use of a gate. So we have a couple of side gate options. Well, there's two main gates and one side gate. So I guess we'll go with uh, the side gate here. And we'll place it opposite our train tracks. Again, there's chances here for elevated walking infrastructure if we want. Something isn't right here. <laughs> there's... um. Isn't that just where the, the node is a little bit janky, right? Uh, there's something dodgy happening this way. We'll we'll sort that out. Don't worry about that. Okay, and then of course we're going to grab Nature Reserve Path uh, with decorations. And then just start to meander uh, something of a slope up the mountain. To kind of follow the uh, natural ridge lines. It's probably going to be helpful if we put on uh, our terrain heights tool here, actually. Okay, just keep it kind of running along this level, following the curvature of the mountain. Just double check how we're doing. Yeah, okay, it's a little mountain trail right now. It's exactly what I'm looking to generate. I'm going to come down here, and then really we want to kind of uh, just clear out a little spot in the trees where we want to work with today. So I think probably about here is going to be a good shout. Okay, so let's um, clear out a little bit of uh, platform for us to work with. And we'll do this in like tiers today, right? So let's come onto our nature reserve pathway. And then we'll discuss some initial kind of design templates to how our little kind of mountainside holiday park is actually going to work. Let's go into our nature reserve stuff and then we're going to grab um, a little hunting cabin, but this isn't going to be kind of the immediate thing, right? I want to come onto my angle. We want to be snapping to road length here as well. So we'll come out by 60 each time. And then 40 either side. Okay, let's grab our nature reserve stuff again. Let's go for that cabin number two first. It is the, the bigger one, I think, isn't it? And then it's kind of box this in so it's like its own little site. Okay. And then in terms of the deed center around this, of course, lots of nature reserve fence is going to be uh, very handy here. And then we'll just draw it straight the way down so it kind of borders that pathway. And then we'll cut away at the cliff here as well so we can use... Uh, our terraforming tools for decoration here as well, right? So like, we are still respecting the topography, um, but I think we're also decorating the topography today as well, right? Okay, so slope a little bit of this out, make it slightly harsher. And of course, we are playing with a bunch of really nice uh, rock assets uh, in 5B. Some of these are only meant to be kind of like water rocks, but they work really nicely out of the water as well. We'll also use some vanilla ones too. Just gonna get some larger rock faces here. Maybe a couple of these up on the hill. Okay. And then once we've got kind of a base rock feature in, we can just soften out this initial slope. Just helps them fit in a little better against that janky terraform once it's all softened out. Okay, maybe a few more up this way as well. We do have some really uh, tall, chunky ones here, more like these. And that worked really nicely up on the, the mountain ridge. Okay, so just a little, I guess it's a buttress, right? Is that how you kind of identify something like a little crop of rock on a hill like this? Unsure. But either way, we can carry on with our designs now. So with each of these little kind of micro holiday homes or little holiday parks, right? We can maybe include some tents around the back of them. If they wanted to maybe, maybe sleep under the stars and they could come and do that here. Uh, we can maybe give them, or each one, a little campfire out front as well. And then with each one, what I really want to do is come in with 
again, plenty of nature reserve fencing. Forestry fence would also work well for this if you want the kind of private vibe. You know, like don't kind of look into that next door neighbor's log cabin if you like, but you can get away with nature reserve fence as well. And then just bring this in as a little box without destroying my path. And then we can even give them like a little kind of eating area out here as well. So maybe they prepared lunch inside and they want to come outside and eat. And then they can do that and maybe there's a little log store next to the fire and perhaps an outhouse in case the plumbing doesn't work. Then you do have somewhere to go. Okay, so hopefully this is how we can use the nature reserve assets. Oh, like, what's, what's the phrase? I guess like a little more densely packed in as opposed to something that, like the uh, Tamisa did, which isn't wrong, you know, that is what you would consider a traditional nature reserve. So we'll see what we can uh, do with them differently here today as well. So we'll continue this design in maybe a couple of different tiers to sit out up here. And these guys do have very small kind of nighttime illuminations with the, the fire and the fairy lights. So hopefully once this pattern's repeated, it should create um, a little bit of almost kind of a, a gondola vibe, you know, like the, the beacons are lit as the trail goes up the mountain. We'll see, we'll see what we can do. I think if we go for viewing deck number two, this gives people a fairly nice lockout, especially over the airport. We definitely want to trim off a couple of these front facing trees as well, just so it opens up that view. And then of course we can terraform around that again. So I guess it would make sense here to have kind of multiple viewing platforms, right? I guess they wouldn't just have kind of the one. I guess maybe kind of a little, little trident of them, if you, if you will. Of, uh, just platforms to sit and look over. At the ever-growing Port Concord, which is becoming a fair old size now. Okay. And again, we can maybe put like a little cafe up here if we want. But lots of fencing again, some of those little kind of rocky buttresses to help decorate the mountain as well. We'll do quite a bit of uh, nature decoration today as well, I think. Okay. Traffic's flowing much better through here now though. And look at all the folks walking down too from the train station. Great suggestion, guys. <laughs> Great. Uh, I wonder if the f if the train is making the ferry almost obsolete. It probably is, because ferries are like water buses, and I, I don't know, I feel like ferries kind of need rebalancing. Like, they, they only hold 50 people, like, like a kayak. Okay, this is alright. Uh, I think I want to start introducing maybe a touch of uh, commercial zoning. Just kind of introduce into the town, maybe a little gas station out here as well, not a petrol station. Please do excuse my Americanisms. Uh, anyway, back onto the mountain. Uh, there is also another asset within the nature reserve pool uh, that looks really cool. Uh, so we'll accommodate this as well. Let's go ahead and uh, create a park pathway for it. Let's come out onto another little uh, ridge line here, and then we'll keep our nature reserve pathway decoration going. And just trying to follow the ridge with uh, the terrain heights overlay on. Okay. This isn't going to look too bad, I think, is it, in the grand scheme of things? And then somewhere towards the base of the viewing platforms, I want to generate uh, some very harshly decorated uh, landscape using lots of rocks and the bouldering sites from the nature reserve as well. So let's, again, just grab a height and level out to it. Kind of will make it look uglier before uh, it kind of looks natural. And then let's place in those assets as well. So we want the boulder insights, right? Let's go for maybe a little triplet of them down here. And again, there's endless opportunities and combinations for your part life assets to come in now. Uh, with, you know, these guys might need. I realize I'm placing a lot of outhouses this rotation. That's like the third one. Um, <laughs> it seems to be a little bit of a recurring theme. Um, so, you know, if they do need to poo, then they do have the option. Okay, so now I want to create the vibe almost like these boulders have actually fallen out of this cliff face, okay? So let's see what we can do to bring this vibe in. So again, we want to level terrain, which gives us this very harsh cliff face, which is what we want to start. 
And again, using a bunch of a bunch of the vanilla ones will work nicely for this as well. And um, you can kind of generate some uh, kind of false cliff face vibes with these assets here, right? It's kind of up to you which uh, which way you want to take it in. So I think this will help our uh, bouldering site people uh, settle in a little easier. Kind of gives a little more purpose to the bouldering site asset, I think, as well. Uh, if we surround it with uh, kind of rocks and outcrops and whatnot, okay. But already we can just see two rocky outcrops on this hill now, right? It's not too bad. It's on its way. It is on its way. Again, it has just registered that I have banned deliveries from this road as well. So, <laughs> no, uh, no wonder they don't have enough goods to sell. We will learn eventually, everyone, I promise, right? Just uh, give me a time with the mods. It's, it's a practice makes perfect process, right? Okay, so I think we'll definitely provide uh, an entrance into the nature reserve from this side uh, of the map as well. So it looks like we can probably just swing on another little side gate onto this side of the town so if we just grab let's just throw it somewhere for right now and um, there for example and then we'll use move it uh, to relocate it to where we want let's uh, clear out a few of these trees and pathways and then we can hopefully just swing this round to kind of sit here at the at the edge of the road. All right. I'm not too bothered about these being overly steep. Like this is a mountain and a nature reserve, so I'm happy for them to kind of go up and down. It's just the extreme kind of basically vertical gradients we want to try to avoid. But otherwise, uh, we can be fairly accepting of that. We probably put some car parking down here today as well. So I think the last thing we'll do before we move into some sort of a detail and time lapse, I definitely want to include um, a little low density commercial asset here that has it's like a petrol station. Okay, so some final touches towards our little kind of train center, I guess that's over here, right? Let's just move it uh, just a little bit of a uh, bit of petrol station on the corner. And maybe one of these little pancakes international as well. Alright. Let's uh, see if we can move our power line over here as well. I'll drop him in there. Okay. And then hopefully we can just come in with smallest amount of service painter and just close that gap out there. And then I think maybe just a touch of that nature reserve fence palette again as we arrive into the area will help us generate the vibe. And I think once we surround this again with our 5B 1C forest palette, it should help us generate a little more of the vibe that we're after around the front of the train station here. I just think it does, all right? Lots of people walking, which is good. And uh, people visiting uh, the National Park now as well. Uh, but either way, guys, that does feel like a good place for a detailing time lapse. Uh, we have a bunch of work to do over here uh, just to make this train station not look as terraformed. Maybe introduce another bit of kind of rocky cliff face into this area as well. Uh, for moving maybe a little bit closer to bedrock, perhaps, as we move over to the side of the map. So there's a lot more exposed natural stone. Uh, detail up our little high street that's developed here as well with this commercial coming up to the train and uh, yeah probably bring the walking path back down as well uh, develop a few more of these little uh, mountainside uh, cabin designs we'll probably place in two more down here maybe you know with three up on this level over here and then just re-terraform this landscape so it doesn't look quite as uh, unnaturally cut away and then lots and lots of fence detailing up against these pathways so people don't walk off the edge and then just make our little nature reserve uh, fit into the landscape uh, a little better than it currently does. And uh, yeah, probably do a little bit of detailing around the ferry stop as well. Uh, but otherwise, let's uh, let's detail up and see what we look like come the end, shall we?
Okay guys, that is going to do it for today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, likes, comments and shares below really do help out my channel. Equally as much if you haven't enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. I hope today has proved that how using some of the DLCs uh, can help us to uh, continue to develop a vibe which is very kind of rural, touristic, countryside-y, recreational, a kind of atmosphere that we're generating over on this side of the bay. And I'm happy with the use of the nature reserve assets and there really is kind of an endless combination that you can use the part life assets in away from kind of their intended purpose. So I hope you may have picked up a few uh, tips and tricks from today. I do hang around for the rest of the outro Taj. There was a ton of detailing that you guys wouldn't have seen it all. I will see you for my third episode on Saturday before we hand over to the wonderful Imperial Jedi. Otherwise I will shut up and I will leave it there. I want to thank you all so much for watching and as always enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>